So what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your another TypeScript tutorial in which I'm gonna show you what setters are in TypeScript and uh, how you can make use of them. So in the last tutorial what we did is that we created a getter of this get area right and what you can do is actually just write number here as well so that you are pretty much sure that you are returning a number only right and uh, as you might have expected the setters actually set the particular property right so right now what we are doing is that in the constructor we are accepting two arguments and setting the lengths instead we can create some setters as well right so what we can do is that we can say set perimeter and the number and what we can do is just pass in an argument like uh, length and uh, obviously that would be a number as well so and we can say set one side and then side is a number as well and let's just see it shouldn't return anything actually uh, we can just get rid of this and uh, the constructor as well or we can just say hello here right and uh, what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna get a perimeter of the rectangle from the user and uh, one side and then we are gonna calculate the other side and then we can make use of this get area right so I'm gonna say this is a new rectangle and then I'm gonna say my awesome rectangle dot oops perimeter equals let's just say this is 10 and yeah you don't need to have the same property name here I mean the setter name should match this name should match here but uh, the value which you are setting should not you know might not be same as the name of your setter method so what I can do is I can create here let's just say perimeter as number and uh, side 1 as number and side 2 as number and this should almost be a semicolon right here as well right so in this get area we would be returning side 1 times side 2 right in perimeter what I'm gonna do is this dot perimeter equals length and in one side I'm gonna do this dot side one equals side and for the calculation of the other side what I'm gonna do is this dot side two is actually what this is is perimeter minus two times side one right and then divided it by two now this is because this is because oops in your rectangle I have got um, this side right here right and all the sum of all these four sides so sum of all these four sides minus these two sides divided by two gives me a single side right this one or this one the length of either one of those okay so now we have got one side and I have set the other side as well so okay now if you see then my perimeter is 10 uh, let's just say one of my sides is uh, 2.5 so that ideally gives me a square right 
and uh, we can just say print all info and then we can say console log um, perimeter is this dot perimeter and side one this dot side one side two is side two right that's all we have got here okay all right so down here we can just call dot print all info right and uh, yeah so let's just go ahead and yeah by the way to fix that error which was uh, you know appearing that um, I don't really remember what it was I'll just show you yeah that accesses are only available when targeting ECMAScript 5 and higher you can fix that I mean you can just make sure that these do not come by passing this flag TSC where TSC should be your file name which in my case is script and then target then ES5 now you can see that it pretty much does not appear and again if we run it in the browser you should probably see something like hello and the perimeter is 10 side 1 is 2.5 and side 2 is also 2.5 right so that is how pretty much you use setters in TypeScript and uh, that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be discussing something interesting about TypeScript and some more information so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one